Hi there, this is Connor with studyskills.ie and welcome to lecture 2 of section 1, the how to learn section. And in this lecture, we're going to focus on the PEG system. Now, there are a few things that you need first before we get into the actual PEG system. And the first thing is that I actually I need to point out to you that in order for you to understand what's going on here, you need to try the exercise. And what we're going to try and do here is we're going to try and learn 20 random words. Now if you try this exercise, by the end of it you're going to be able to memorize and learn 20 words in perfect order, both forwards and backwards. Now for most people this is a very, very difficult thing to do and it would take you a long, long time. But for us, when we're using this system, it's not going to take long, maybe only about 5 minutes. So the last thing you need is a pen and paper and if you don't have any beside you just pause the video and go and get some right now okay so you should have pen and paper and if you do we can get started so before we do anything else I want you to look at the following words for no more than two minutes and try to memorize them so there are the words it starts off with bun and it goes all the way to bed these are 20, 20 random words. When you've looked at those, if you want, pause the video for two minutes, try and memorize them, and then look away and write them down. Okay, now, so you should be back. And a good score is between 10 and 12 words. If you could, if you could remember between 10 and 12 words, that's a pretty good score. But with the method that we're going to learn now, you're going to be able to easily remember all 20 words and the way we're going to do that is we're going to do it through a method called the number rhyme peg system now the list of words that I actually gave you only the last 10 were actually random the first 10 were specific words that have a rhyming link with the numbers 1 to 10 so for example 1 rhymes with bun 2 rhymes with shoe and so on and in order for us to learn the PEG system, we're going to first need to learn the first 10 number rhyme words. And once we have learned those, we can then use the system to learn any random information we want by linking them together. So here are the first 10 words again. They go bun, shoe, tree, door, hive, sticks, heaven, gate, wine, and hen. Now on the left hand side here, I've written down each of those words beside their corresponding number and I'm going to run through these and we'll see how each of them sound similar and in that way they're connected. So we've got one bun, two shoe, three tree, four door, five hive, six sticks, seven heaven, eight plate, nine wine, 10 hen. So you can obviously see there, you can hear how they all sound similar. The word and the corresponding number are pretty much, uh, they phon phonetically sound the same. So on the right hand side here, we'll just go through this. There are two ways we can learn the list. One is by repeating the list a few times, and because the words rhyme together, they're going to be easy to remember. But the second way we can learn them is by picturing them in our imagination with specific links between the word and the number. And I want us to learn them using this second method. And the reason is because a lot of the methods that we're going to be using in the future are going to require us to use our visual imagination. So it's a good idea to start now. Now as we go through this, try and make the picture vivid in your mind. And basically what this means is that just take a moment to clearly see the picture that I'm going to show you in your mind. And if you want to make if you want to make it easier, if you find it easier to close your eyes, do that. And just one final last point. If you don't actually see something when you try and imagine, don't worry about it. Just give it a try. So here are the images that I find myself using when I link the number and the corresponding word together. So I've got one bun. And what I want you to do is imagine a sticky bun 
with a giant candle sticking out of its shape like the number one. Then we've got two shoe. For this, imagine a big number two wearing a big clown shoe and jumping up and down outside your house. Now, I need to point here as we go through these, you'll probably need to pause the video and read through these and go through them in your mind before you move on because I'm going to move through these quite quickly. So if you need to, pause the video and just imagine these in your mind. Next we have three, tree. So instead of a straight tree, imagine the tree trunk is curved like the number three. Four, door. Imagine a hotel door with a giant number four on it. Five, hive. Imagine a big beehive with five bees around it in a star shape. Six, sticks. Imagine looking down on a beach from a helicopter above and you can see a huge number six in the sand made with sticks. Seven, heaven. Imagine a seven with wings flying up past the clouds into heaven. Eight, plate. Imagine all of your plates at home are shaped like the number eight. It almost looks like two plates joined together. Nine, wine. Imagine drinking wine from a big glass shaped like the number nine. And then ten, hen. Imagine a hen that plays football and it has the number ten jersey. So, if you want to, go back through that and then pause the video and if you feel that you have all of those connections in your brain, we're just going to run through these real quick and see how well you've done. So, one is bun, two is shoe, three is tree, four is door, five is hive, six is sticks, seven is heaven, eight is plate, nine is wine, ten is hen. I'm good. So we're just going to pause the video there because I want to make sure that you got all of those right. If you didn't get any of them right, go back do the exercise again. If the connections that I came up with don't quite work for you, try and make your own connections. But the idea is to connect the word and the number in some way so that when you think of it, the, the number, then the word automatically comes to your brain. So for example, when I think of one, I see that candle sticking in the bun, and then I, see, uh, then I say, oh yeah, it's bun, one bun. When you've got all that, and you can remember the first 10 number rhyme words, move on to the next part of the number rhyme peg system.